Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to talk about and explain the Cummins QSK23 model engine QSK60 and QSK78 and CM2250 OEM powered generation wiring. This is the especially the starting circuit of the these kind of engine model which is heavy duty diesel engine using in a power generation this is all model of the Cummins manufactured okay these model QSK23 QSK60 and QSK78 and CM2250 OEM OEM means original engine manufacture power generation wiring diagrams this is especially the starting circuit of the this model of engine so before the starting the video I have a small request to all newcomers if you are first time on my channel please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to getting more latest update videos so let's get started as you can see here we have two connectors one is 31 pins OEM connector in engine harness and one is 16 pin OEM connector okay as you can see here I do not explain some pins here I explain especially which pin is related to the starting circuit and working in a starting circuit as you can see pin 18 17 16 19 as you can see here this is the some warning light bulb and some shut down engine fault light bulb okay and then pin 24 pin 23 and pin 14 as you can see here is a warning shut down limbs and some fault shut down limbs and then the pin 16 pin OEM connector as you can see here is a HA HFA J K J R S M P this is the pin numberings okay and 31 pin connector the pin number is whether 18 17 16 19 like a and then here is a alphabets okay decimal alphabets first of all as you can see here this is the pin 18 this is the input of the our speed shutdown lamp as you can see when your engine is goes to shut down during case emergency case our speed your light blow up this one okay which is th coming from pin 30 31 pin OEM connector pin 17 this is the common warning limb and pin 16 this is the common shutdown warning limb and pin 19 this is the low oil pressure warning limb if your engine have low oil pressure your this light will be glowing that means you have low oil pressure in your engine okay understand as you can see here the pin 24 here is a light ET WL I mentioned here is a shortest engine temperature warning lamp light if your engine is temperature is raised this lamp warning lamp is glowing in this condition 
and here is the engine temperature shut down warning name and the last one pin 14 of 31 pin OEM connector is low oil pressure limp understand this all are fitted through the key switch from emergency push button NC and goes to feed the positive to all this side when some fault is a cover are coming this side is giving to the ground providing grounding to the light and light is goes to glow up if you not have any problem here is a ground not available which part is coming here for example in this pin this pin is grounded the light bulb one side and your light bulb is goes to glow up and you figure out and understand you have this problem right now okay first of all as you can see here this is our emergency push button because every engine of the generator have emergency push button system car and trucks not have emergency push button but every generation generator and generators have a emergency push button switch okay it is compulsory and very important rule play in the generation field okay as you can see this is our normally close emergency push button as you can see here is a out of the NC positive as you can see this positive is going from the battery positive directly and feed it to the emergency push button inserted in an NC and then out from the NC and goes to here is a run stop switch okay after that the run stop switch when the uh, run stop switch is uh, pressed then this circuit is closed and feed it positive to all this system okay this is the 16 pin OEM connector H this is the ignition key input understand this is the ignition key input which is positive okay B plus okay and this if a this is the directly battery positive feeding if a okay and this kj this is the directly battery negative feeding and this r s pins is integrated heater either injection system and the S terminal is intake grid heater injection system ground this is mentioned with A this is mentioned with B and also the variable speed fin pulse width modulation A and also ground return B of the variable speed fin pulse width modulation ground return ok we are explained this two main connector which is one is 31 pin OEM connector one is 16 pin OEM connector and also the connection pin out and pin in okay so let's now understand the starting circuit when we when we want to start the generator first of all we turning on the key switch position to the on position then as you can see here this two wire okay one is crank status one is crank signal when we send the signal and this wire as you can see here in this wire as you can see this is the slow starter relay okay when this relay is energized 
by sending the crank signal positive feed. This relay coil goes to close the NO point to the NC. As you can see here is our battery positive is coming from the battery here is to this is the one starter motor this is the another starter motor this is the third one starter motor Cummins QSK thrice has one starter Cummins QSK 60 have two starter and Cummins QSK 78 have three starter motor or CM2250 OEM power generation wiring connector ok as you can see here is a this one is a 800 to 900 kVA this is the 1 megawatt to 1250 or 1350 kVA and this one this one KSK 78 this is the 1500 1700 1600 to 2 megawatt okay most likely this engine is coming in a 17 and 1800 kVA okay now understand the starting circuit when we send the signal crank signal to the and this wiring this relay is goes to energize and this relay this normally open contact goes to normally close okay when this normally contact goes to close this taking supply from here as you can see here taking supply from here and then feed back to the this three starter motor as you can see the starter motor another side is, is already grounded with the battery negative or engine grounded okay this is our the charging alternator one is directly go to the B negative and one red wire is going to be positive okay when we on the this switch and send the cranking single to this wire this is the slave relay when the slave relay, relay is energized this taking supply from the battery positive and send back to the all starter motor is terminal in engine is turning over and turning over as you can see here the battery positive one side is giving to the solenoid plus okay all to, to all three starter when we energize this slave relay this relay getting supply sig, uh, crank uh, s put terminal supply from here and then out to the this all three starter motor if we have one starter working same if two we have two starter working is same if we have three starter working is same so this is the complete starting circuit after this kind of engine models so I hope to watch my video complete and understand try to understand if you have any doubt or any further complaint please write comment below in a comment section I will give you give a briefly video making for you and a further so thanks for watching my video see you all next time and goodbye